In this video, we provide the solution to question number four for practice exam number four for MAP 1050. We have the logarithmic expression, log base five, of the fraction, the cube root of x squared plus one over x squared minus one. And we want to expand this logarithm. That is, we want to break it apart into smaller, simpler pieces as far as we can go. And so the three laws of logarithms are going to come into play here. So first of all, we're taking the logarithm of a quotient. Um, and so therefore, using the second law of logarithms, we can break this up into a difference. This will become the log base 5 of the cube root of x squared plus 1 minus the log base 5. The base doesn't change when we do these, these calculations. Log base 5 of x squared minus 1, like so. So that's the first thing. We want to keep on going here. Uh, so with the first expression, notice that if you have the cube root of x squared plus 1, the cube root is really just the one-third power. And that one-third power can be factored out of the logarithm via the uh, third law of logarithms that we've learned about. So you end up with a one-third log base 5 of x squared plus 1. Now, x squared plus 1, it's a sum of squares. It's not going to factor anymore. But on the other hand, we have a for the second logarithm, we have x squared minus 1. That does factor as a difference of squares. Uh, so that would factor as the log base 5 of x minus 1 plus the log base 5 of x plus 1. So I'm utilizing the fact here that, of course, that x squared minus 1, it factors as x minus 1 and x plus 1. That's what we're using here. Now, of course, um, we broke apart the product, but there was this negative sign in front of them. We have to distribute this onto both pieces. So you're going to end up with one-third log base 5 of x squared plus 1 minus log base 5 of x minus 1, and then also a minus log base 5 of x plus 1. Don't forget to distribute the negative sign right there. And so then we see, let me get this out of the way because this is now covering up the correct answer. We see the correct answer is going to be D, one-third log base 5 of x squared plus 1. That's exactly what we had right here. Um, then we're going to have negative the log base 5 of x minus 1, just like we saw, and then a negative, because again, the second one will be negative as well. We distribute the negative sign onto the log base 5 of x plus 1.